afternoon. So I've got back down to Messingham again, uh, myself and Graham again. Uh, it's looking fairly quiet. So we're just having a bit of a wander around onto the roadside. See what it looks like down here. Graham's just saying there's a couple down here about the looks of it. So we'll see, see what spaces look like. And what's going to be best for us to fish, whether it be on the roadside or across on party peg side back at Reeds again where we were last week. Right, so we've had a bit of a walk on the layout of pegs. Uh, we're we're going to do Reeds Corner at one next week again like we did last week. Hopefully we'll have a, a bit more success, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, I think these two on party peg, they look like they're on the air for day, so they'll probably be gone later on. Which I'll just leave. Uh, myself and Graham over this side. And hopefully we'll uh, catch some fish on these two again. So, on that note, we're going to uh, get to get some rods out, get set up. Uh, maybe have a maybe have a beer while we're doing it. I think it's quite warm. What about uh, 18 degrees? It says it feels warmer than that to be honest. But there's uh, there's some showing out on the lake. If you can, I don't think you'll see it. There's, there's one just cruising out over there. There's uh, a few a few showing on top. Like I say it is quite warm. So we'll uh, we'll get some rods out, get us bivvies up, have a beer. I hope we have some fish for you. So I'll see you soon. Yeah, so this is this is peg I'm going to be fishing again. This is what I did last week. Uh, just the one off it. Uh, 20, 23 and a half, something like that, I think. Uh, and Graham's going to be fishing. That's uh, Reed's Garner for obvious reasons. Uh, nice size peg. Personally, I don't like fishing up to reeds myself for again for obvious reasons. But nice bag, like to ourselves pretty much. So we'll get his rods out and we'll get back to you soon. All right. Right, so I'm going to make a solid bag up. Uh, so I'll just show you what I'm using in mine. I've got uh, cell ground bait with a cell wafter and then uh, about four mil pellets there, I think. So that's what's going in mine. Uh, if you've got some, it'd be better than so. It's a solid bag system. Put collar on this, obviously, just to make it small enough to go into the bag. Obviously, my fat fingers are not very good for this and be shakes. So, bag on, take the collar off, so that expands onto your bag and holds it in place. Give it a bit of a blow top it out. So, I'll we'll put a bit of this in the bottom to start with. Uh, about an inch in the bottom, so and then I'm gonna drop the hook bait into there. Just going. We'll pack your bag out better. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, hook bait into bottom. Like so, just trip line in there, just so that it holds the lead out of weight. I'm just going to put a, a bit more ground bait over, just to cover the hook first. Just give that a bit of a, a pat down so it's squashed down the corner. 
And then get the pellets. So as you just probably heard, I've got some some two mil pellets off of them. I said they just packed back out better than, than four mil and six mil do so looks like I have a bag of pellets there. So I'm just going to fill that Just going to Bit of a pet again A couple more pellets But this is quite a large bag to be honest uh, put that in. I'm going to take this out now, just to give me a, a bit more, a bit more room. Right, line out of it. Right, so now we're now we're starting to fill the bag a bit. Put my lead into the middle, and then I'm going to put. A few more pellets in. This could, this could get quite messy now. Should be in a bucket really, but we'll sort that after. So that's the lead covered. We'll just get a stem there, look. Just give it a nice pat down. Just grab that stem. Give it, a, give it a twist while you while you're holding the stem. Just, while you're doing it, just keep patting it down. What I like to do is put a, just a couple of holes in the bag, just so it can release air while you while you're patting. And then give that a, a lick. Push it back down again. Nice and tight. Just hold that. That should should hold. So it's not brilliant. What I want to do? If you see it. Wrap that round like that. And just to keep pulling down as you're doing it, so I'll tighten your back up as well. And then, cut that off. See that through there. Just a couple of other end knots. Like right, so. I'm just going to drop that off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim. Uh, remainder of PVA off. Obviously, take care not to cut through your line. So, last thing, just to make sure it's nice and tight, is squashes corners down. Right, so, give that a bit of a lick. And pull that over nice and tight. Just hold that for a, just a couple of seconds so it sticks. Same with this one. Push your corner in. Helps compact it a bit and obviously makes it more air out dynamic for when you cast. Goes further, easier. Pull it over. A couple of seconds again. A little bit more. And there we have it, nice big PVA bag, ready to go, so let's get it out. And the PVA floats to the top and gives me a marker. Pizza. <laughs> All good stuff.
on that thing. I give in. How the fuck does that happen? What do I do with this, Graham? What? Right, so finally fishing. Uh, I've got both on solid bags. Uh, my right rod is about about eight wraps out, and my left rod is about six wraps out. Uh, all showing fish have been closing, so we'll we'll stay close for the time being, and we'll see what luck we have. Well, as you can see, stuff set up without fishing. Plenty showing just just out, maybe maybe six wraps is all where I've gone. So we'll uh, see where we go. And hopefully we'll, we'll have a bit of luck. I'll uh, be seeing you soon hopefully. <laughs> that was a bit of an update for you. Not that there's not to update, but uh, not had anything up to now. No knocks, nothing. Uh, two guys off party pegs just left. I, I haven't seen them have anything. Uh, Graham's just putting his, his rods back out again, just rebaiting. There is fish showing where we where we're casting, but it's a bit early. I think there's. There's not much comes out throughout the day anymore here. So hopefully we'll, uh, another hour or two. Get uh, get get rebated for night. Hopefully we'll uh, we'll have someone to, to show you a bit later on. But in the meantime it's uh, just chill and a nice drink. And a bit of a, a gal, a bit of a social with us both. And uh, we'll see you later on.
Okay, right, so that's Rod's back out again for night. Uh, so we'll have a bit of something to eat now, I think. Uh, another can. Why not? Not much else to do. And just look at this. What a sunset. Little things, these little mines and all that. So, see you in a bit, hopefully, with some fish. Well, it's, uh, it's going up to bedtime. It's uh, 25 to 10. Graham's had a, a bit of a knock about half hour since. I've not had anything at all. Loads jumping out in front of us. So hopefully, as night goes on, we'll, we'll have some of uh, Temperatures drop by loads now as today. It's, everything's wet through and it, it is quite cold now. So, uh, Graham's retreated to his sleeping bag. And I'm going to do the same, I think. I will uh, keep his fingers crossed for the fish. Uh, I'll, just, uh, I'll just show you this, what I've got for, uh, for this time. After my last video, when I, when I had a fishing night, uh, you, you can't see anything on video, to be fair. So, for for this time, I've invested in a, a nice little solar motion sensor light. So, it's down there, which you can just see light, and any anything passes in front of it, which obviously is a bit far away from here, but there we go. Anything passes in front, lights peg up pretty nice. So, all being well, you should be able to see when they have a the fish later on. Uh, catch you later. Stand up, Graham. If you just touch back at the screen, it'll come back on again. Just <coughs> pick it up and just try and aim it at us for a, a picture.
Well, there we go, we're off the mark. <sighs> oh, 21, what's a 21 7 mirror? Uh, good start for night. Oh, get me uh, get my bag back on. Get it back out again. See you soon, hopefully. I'm just bring it over. It's uh, five past eleven, and Graham's into a fish. So, let's see what he's what he's got. Unfortunately, the battery went flat in the middle of it. Unfortunately, it took him into reeds and snagged him up. So, unfortunately, that, that snapped him off. They're just getting his process back out again now. So, try again. You've got your landing net. Not oh, and uh hmm? on what? Twenty two one at uh, twenty two ten, sorry. So nineteen
Rock was screaming, gone. Morning. Uh, more productive night than usual. Uh, pretty rubbish night sleep wise uh, for, for one thing or another. Fish, not a bad thing. Rats, absolutely everywhere on my peg. Uh, and sleep apnea sucks. Which uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, another little video on the uh, just on on sleep apnea. Uh, just just for anybody that's that's maybe got it and think it stops them doing stuff like this, overnight fishing, camping, stuff like that. Uh, when you need a CPAP machine, it's not brilliant, but it is possible, obviously. Uh, so yeah, I'll do a, just a, a little video on that, uh, just what I what I've got, what I use, uh, and how I get by. Uh, so yeah, bit of, bit of a rubbish night's sleep, uh, mainly due to that. Just with weather, it's it's a, it's a bit rough with it in, in weather when it changes like this. But we're all good. We're uh, we're still alive and kicking. Uh, so now it is time for a nice cup of coffee and a bacon sandwich. In fact, bacon and black pudding, just for you, Bailey. Uh, I'm going to put rods back out again, refresh bait, see if we can pinch one before we go. Uh, fingers crossed, you never know. So. I'll uh, see you before we go. Well, Fisher folks, that's it. Another 24 hours of it. Uh, a bit better session this week. But uh, two landed for me. Uh, 19, 19 pounds from and 21 pounds from I think well. And one landed and one lost for Graham, unfortunately, in Reeds. So, a bit better session than normal. And we'll, uh, we'll try again soon. Uh, once again, all those rubbish is packed up. We're ready for off. We'll see you on the bank again shortly.